of SFE's French cohort program students, we were tasked with trying to make city planning more accessible and enjoyable to Vancouver's youth. Our program aims to implement Minecraft in the reimagining of the outdoor COVID spaces around Minecraft the city. Minecraft is an online video block game that allows for almost unlimited career freedom. With a multitude of building blocks and uh, different ways to implement them, Minecraft has fostered a creativity and a love for design and building in Vancouver's youth. This love for building in the youth is an untapped resource that the city of Vancouver can benefit from greatly. This project would allow for the youth of Vancouver to have a say for what happens to our beloved COVID spaces within our beautiful city. This would allow for partnerships between contractors, architects, and City of Vancouver staff. This will create a more engaged population. COVID spaces are sprinkled throughout the City of Vancouver. During the pandemic, the people of the city wanted outdoor spaces to enjoy nature while remaining safe and distanced. So the City of Vancouver provided public courtyards, outdoor activity spaces, and patios. The problem is that these spaces were created as a sort of band-aid to a bullet hole problem. These spaces were developed very quickly, resulting in suboptimal planning and an overall lack of accessibility. And now that the public has access to these spaces, they've really started to enjoy them. And the want use to of Minecraft in urban planning has been implemented in both small and large-scale projects across the world. Because of the game's user-friendly structure and versatility, the possibilities are endless. From redesigning small outdoor COVID spaces to visually mapping bus routes, the benefits of this project will be reaped for years to come. From a more engaged youth to more accessible outdoor spaces, uh, technology is the future and Minecraft is a tool that will take us there. So, how do we implement this into the city of Vancouver? First, we will take a look at the COVID spaces that are least accessible or that raise the most concerns. By tackling these spaces, we're ensuring a more accessible and a more inclusive future. Secondly, the city would use Minecraft to make a realistically sized model of, of these spaces. And then the city would set expectations and parameters for youth to follow while they're in the server. Then would come the events themselves, wherein everyone, the seniors, the youth, and everybody who would like could go to their local uh, library or community center that is closest to the space that they hope uh, they want to redesign. Hosting a form of this uh, work be the libraries and community centers would be equipped on their computers within a specific time frame and within the parameters set by the city. These youth would have creative freedom to reimagine and make these outdoor spaces more accessible. After submitting their creations, they would be sent to the city for review and to start the process of implementing their designs. The use of Minecraft in urban planning is as innovative as it gets. We are using an already existing and cost-effective program to redesign city spaces with the help of the public. The city of Vancouver has never done something like this before. We know that if implemented, this project would foster the engagement of Vancouver's youth to help make our city a more enjoyable place to live. Thank you for your consideration.